people purchasing coconut water from street vendors have been advised to be careful. This warning comes from the Environmental Health Inspector attached to the David Thompson Health and Social Service Complex, David Nightingale. Speaking as he conducted a routine inspection of the bottling process at Mount Wilton Farm, he said registered producers adhere to strict standards. However, he said the same could not be said of some street vendors. Why well, you say that? Because if you look around some of them, some of them cut coconuts without any shirt or t-shirt on. Some of them pick the coconuts, bring the coconuts from where they pick, put it on the ground itself, and that ground at night, before they put the coconuts, you can have a dog pass into your net, or a cat pass into your net, or defecate, or you have the same human being like the passing and spit and thing, put the coconuts on the ground. So I prefer them to put the coconuts on a, a crate or on a crate, or a piece of car, and just put the coconuts on it. Mr. Nightingale also says some vendors practice poor personal hygiene. You can see some of them does not, some of them do not, sorry, do not have any water facilities to wash their hands because if you look around, they don't have any toilet facilities. And we are human beings and some of them don't want to go and urinate. And when they come back, some of them got to have a washing facility to wash their hands. They don't even got enough hand sanitizer to wash their hands. So I found out there so as poor hygiene practices. And we don't want that. We are not stopping off from selling corners, making money. We just want you to practice proper hygiene. The inspector encouraged vendors to properly dispose of their coconut shells instead of dumping them illegally.